Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for another review video, The Battle of the Titans, Jeremy's versus Harry's. We're gonna find out which one of these razors kicks butt and which one doesn't. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, people, we're gonna start unboxing all this, and while we are unboxing, we'll start talking. So, if you didn't already know, you just gotta shut up and shave. <laughs> but seriously, if you didn't know what's going on with this whole controversy with, with Jeremy's and Harry's, I won't get into all the petty details, but I'll just tell you the highlight reels. Um, Harry's Razors has been a longtime sponsor of a podcast news outlet called The Daily Wire. And uh, The Daily Wire got some kind of heat on them from someone on Twitter. And someone on Twitter, like an individual, like single person, called them out for saying something that they didn't agree with. And Harry's decided to not only pull their sponsorship uh, from Daily Wire, but they decided to kind of kick them on the way out. And so they um, insulted them on the way out and kind of you know, berated them and took a, a political stance against Daily Wire. Uh, the owner of Daily Wire, or one of the owners, is a guy named Jerry, Jeremy North, right? And so he decided to go to the open marketplace, right? And be a, a true capitalist. And he decided to say, you know what? I hate Harry's, <laughs> and if you do too, you can come buy my razor instead. And he put out a very kind of viral video <laughs> introducing this new razor set and the whole kind of theme was shut up and shave don't get political you know guys are here to shave they're not here to you know talk politics or whatever take stances on, on woke culture or whatever cancel culture and so he teamed up with with a uh, a razor maker and they produced this right this new jeremy's razor and it was basically um, a subscription service where you were gonna buy this kit, which is called the Founders Kit, it was $59. I bought it, and not a sponsor, right? And um, you get this razor handle, which is metal. I mean, it's a pretty hefty razor handle here. You get one, two, three, four cartridges in here, and I bet there's gonna be another four, or maybe even six in here. I, didn't, I actually did not open this up. We can, we can open this up to determine how many are inside. Good thing I have a razor blade nearby. Um, you also get this cool travel case, right? Um, you get a post-shave balm, you get a shave cream, you get these fun stickers if you wanna put those out. You even get this instructions with like, this looks like something you'd see in a barber shop from like the 1980s or something, 1970s. So they basically said, you know, we can make a razor too and hit Harry's in their own market. Yeah, another four in here. So you get a total of eight cartridges, the handle, the post-shave balm, the cream. And these cartridges are six blades. And just based off of having six blades, I'm pretty sure I know who they teamed up with. And this is just a guess. This is, I have no inside baseball knowledge, but I'm thinking they teamed up with Dorco just because I, I know Dorco kind of has that six blade market and they are in, you know, the, Asian Pacific Marketplace, and they can make stuff like this private label really fast. I mean, basically Jeremy's launched this in a matter of a few months. I think, I think it was like maybe a month or two later after the Harry's thing, they had this razor out. Um, I bought one just because I heard about it. I saw this viral video that was funny and, you know, whatever, satirical. And I just thought, you know, this would make an interesting video. Um, and we're not here to get into politics. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about shaving. And I thought, well, let's, let's just, let's... Top on the bandwagon of, of what's popular out there. So I got this kit. We're going to uh, give it a shot. And so to compare it, uh, obviously, if the whole controversy was between uh, Harry's and um, Jeremy's, I had to get a Harry's razor too. All right, we have to get this cartridge loaded up. So we got our, our uh, Jeremy's razor all loaded up. Let's pull out the Harry's. I went to Target this morning. I spent 20 bucks. I picked this up, and this was even the chrome edition, so I didn't even just go for like the basic plastic model. 
I went with more of their premium. So let's see what we get in here for, I spent $20 total on the product, the, the Harry Shave product, the gel and also whoop, the razor. Hi there, we're Harry's. We create quality grooming essentials that help you find a routine that works for you however you want to look, feel, and even smell. Okay. Over here you only get uh, two cartridges, right? I mean, there's, there's a pretty big price difference too, but you get two cartridges. And let's do a little blade count on here. It's five. So it's a little bit bigger of a head in terms of the surface area it's gonna cover on your face, right? Eh, maybe about the same. I guess this one's just a bit longer down here. I, I did a video a few weeks ago with a Target shave and I already had got the Harry's uh, like cream. So I got the gel instead. And this is a cream. So I tried to get the matching products, you know, more or less. So we're going to, we're going to literally do a comparison shave. We're going to put the Harry's product on one side and use the Harry's razor, the Jeremy's product on the other side and use the Jeremy's razor. We're going to battle it out here for you guys today and see which one of these really does come out on top. So with all that being said, I'm going to shut up and shave. You know, the, um, the marketplace for shaving wars isn't new. Um, this, this little battle reminds me of a battle that Gillette had with Valet Auto Strop back in the 1920s, 1930s. You know, the founder of um, Valet Auto Strop was trying to come to Gillette and say, hey, I got this great um, improvement for your razor. You should buy it for me. And Gillette kept on kind of you know, insulting them and say, ah, come on, you know, we, we, we're Gillette, we don't need any help. And so Valet basically decided to um, make their own brand and uh, made the Proback double edge razor, right? They were making single edges before and they were like, no, okay, if you don't want to do it, we'll do it. So, and then that actually kind of led to a huge change up with Gillette. Um, they ended up merging and, and uh, Valet Autostrop uh, led by a CEO named um, Gazeman, ended up coming out on top and became the chairman of the board and kind of ran the company from then on out. So it just goes to show you, what you mock can overtake you. Be careful what you mock. And in the world of shaving, um, it's no secret that, you know, Harry's owns their own factory in Germany. That's their whole claim to fame. They bought this German cartridge factory and they've become this big, you know, this big brand now. They're in all the big boxes. And... Um, and kind of got big for their bridges and decided to, you know, get woke or whatever, take political stances, and, and Jeremy's has kind of fired back, and we're going to find out. So I've just been working this product. I'm, I'm using quite a lot, I know, but I am trying to just get my beard as prepped as possible because I'll be really straight. I'm not looking forward to either one of these cartridges on my face. I will do it for you, though, guys. For you guys, I will do this. If my mother asked me to do it, I wouldn't do it. But for you guys, I'll do it. So we got the Jeremy Shave Cream. It, it feels, you know, nice. It just doesn't make a giant lather. It feels like a lotion. It smells nice. We'll see how the Harry's compares. Now this is more of a gel. Oh yeah. Now this one's foaming up because again, it's a gel. It's not a cream. This reminds me of High school <laughs> using Gillette Edge shaving gel. I'll even try mix a little bit more water in there, guys, but it's kind of. Yeah, there we go, maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> Gonna make a mess over here. And I tell people that uh, the shaving brush is not like just for some fancy effect. It actually preps your beard way better than a gel like this just kind of being smeared on or a cream being smeared on. So the immediate look, if I just was to look at both, I would say that the Harry's looks like it's prepping my beard better, but we're gonna find out. So we got Harry's over here, we got Jeremy's over here. 
let's see which one is going to win my heart, <laughs> if either one really could. All right, so Jeremy's first. Six blades. Well, it's removing hair. It's, it's doing the typical cartridge tug. I'll try to even give it the benefit of the doubt with some uh, skin stretching. Well, it's not horrible. It's, it's six, you know, blades, right? Six blades, but it's not leaving it as close to the double edge even. With one blade. Yeah. Still leaving a good amount of stubble behind. It's easy, I guess. It's kind of clogging up a little bit fast. I'm having to keep on rinsing it out. I've got like maybe one and a half, two days growth. Okay, before we get much further, all right, let's switch over to the Harry's. Five blades. Definitely more resistance. You probably can even hear it. It's more of a scraping sound. It's definitely tugging more. Slightly closer. Yeah, a little bit closer, but definitely more tugging and more uncomfortableness. It's just a tugging sensation. I'm not making it up, guys. You guys always think when I'm doing cartridge razors, I'm trying to like, ugh, ugh. Like, no, like seriously. I'm used to double edge, just being like a laser, easy. This is definitely resistance. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The difference, the Harry's definitely is getting a little bit closer, and maybe that's why it's tugging more, but it just doesn't feel as sharp. The, uh, the Jeremy's was kind of more, Less, less effort needed. I'm just trying to shape around the goatee. I know I'm not a real wet shaver because I have a goatee. I, I keep on getting these comments, guys. I'm sorry, but deal with it. We'll do a cool video where I shape off the goatee, but I, I just, I just, I can't get over how, that comment, come on. I'm allowed to have some facial hair. I don't do wet shaving because I love shaving so much. I just, I want to enjoy it, what I do of it, right? If I shave all of this and all this, I just want to enjoy the process. I don't have to shave everything. You know, why, why stop with my face? Why don't I just shave my head, my eyebrows, my chest? I should just shave everything. If I love shaving so much, I love shaving. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, I just, I, I get that comment about once a week. I'm just like over it. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to go on my neck with this. This seems like it's going to be ingrown hair city for my lower neck. Even with a good double edge, I can get ingrown hairs on my lower neck. Um, thought so far is that the Jeremy's provided a slightly less close shave Let's, let's see if you can hear, do the hear test. Ready? So, I mean, we're talking slightly better. Shade of gray better on the Harry's side, but the experience was much more enjoyable on the Jeremy's side. So which one do you want more? Closer shave or more enjoyable experience? I mean, I suppose you could do multiple passes with the cartridge and you could get as close and enjoy your experience more with the Jeremy's or you can one and done with the Harry's and just suffer through it. Um, but I don't, I don't love either one of these. I don't hate Harry's, I don't love Jeremy's, but you know what I do love? 
Rex. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna dial a friend over here. I'm phoning in a friend, and we're gonna use the Rex Envoy to finish up my neck. You know why? Because I'm not getting ingrown hairs over these. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Effortless, no pulling, no tugging. This is my own shameless plug. Now look how much faster and more efficiently and less tugging I can get around my neck. I haven't even, yeah, there we go. Finally flipped over the other side. Come on. You've got to say empirically, rationally, logically, if you're looking at this, you can just see from the experience of, that I'm having a much easier time with, with a nice quality double edge. And if I wanted to get a closer shave, I could go back and go over this and actually probably get some stubble still. Yeah, I could still get some stubble off of either one of these sides. No pulling. That's my shameless plug. <laughs> I, I wanted to do this just because of, I, I don't want to have to get ingrown hairs over one of these review videos, guys. Much better. So that's the real winner in all of this is, is the Rex Envoy or any of the quality double-edged Rex products. These are made in America, all right? I can guarantee you this may be made in Germany or parts of it. I bet the handle is actually made in China, and then they make the, the cartridge in Germany. And that's even how Gillette does it. And I guarantee this is not – this is either made in China or in South Korea if it is Dorco. Um, and guess what? That's made in America, and we don't play the games. There's no, I don't need to get woke. We're all about the shaving. We're not going to get political. <laughs> We're here to shave. We really will shut up and shave. But um, seriously, neither one of these products were stellar. If I had to pick one, I would pick the Jeremy's just because it was less tugging of an experience. I'm going to finish up with a little cold splash, calm down my skin, make sure I have no irritation, get all the shaving cream off. Do a pat dry, and we will finish up with the Jeremy's post shave balm. That does feel nice. It's a very neutral, clean smell. It's not heavily fragranced. It does feel nice on my skin. If you have used Harry's and didn't like their political stance they got on or whatever, Tell me in the comments below. If you've heard of Jeremy's razors or saw the viral video, tell me in the comments below. Um, if you've used these actual products on your face, which one do you prefer? Tell me in the comments below. If you've reached for the Rex for the win, the double-edged shave, any good quality double-edged razor, and you've thrown out cartridges because you really want a quality shave, tell me in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, you are entered into win this, the official Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. That's all I got from uh, Razor Emporium. If you've liked this video, like it. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel, share this with a friend, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.